Hi everyone, Jordan Goldmeyer here. I want to show you one of the cool new features that's available in Office 365 if you're able to add add-ins. Now over here you can see that I have created this flowchart. This is like a Visio flowchart. And with this really cool new add-in, what you can do is you can actually create changes to a flowchart using an Excel table like this. So while there's no VBA backend that I know of, if you use VBA to manipulate these parts, well, you can actually create your own hierarchy. So let's take a look at this. This is for a decision tree. Look, we, we have start. I can change this to decision um, to be something like um, ask a question like this. I'll put a question mark. And then if I hit refresh and I'm told that they're actually making it so it can auto refresh, you see it changes. And then there's different connector labels. Yes, no. What if I write yes, maybe like that, we'll hit refresh and give it a second to refresh. And you can see it says yes and maybe. And here's the cool thing. There's a whole lot of different uh, flowcharts that you can make. So how would you be able to do it? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Insert tab. You're going to move your mouse over here to Get Add-ins. Now, I already have this add-in, but I'm going to show you what you should do. You should go to this search here and type in Data Visualizer like that. And that's going to show you the Microsoft Visio Data Visualizer, which is in preview. Go ahead and click Add. Now, when you add it, you're probably going to have to log in. I've already logged in, so it doesn't really matter for me. But you can see that there's several different flow charts. We have a quick, a quick start one. We have a horizontal one, a vertical one, a hierarchy, which is probably one of my favorites. We have um, what they would call a swim lane chart or a cross-functional chart and an organizational chart. And what's really cool about either the basic flow chart where you can create a hierarchy like this, I'm just going to do that here is that when I did a lot of work in operations research for um, the United States Air Force, there's a big emphasis, at least at the time, on value-focused thinking. And people were creating hierarchies with VBA. And now there's already this really cool tool inside of Excel that will allow you to create these. And all you need to do is actually just understand how the table for each one of these works. So if we take a look, you see that this is like a level one process. And it shows you the next step ID. So you see P100 here. You can just see how this data type is set up. You have P100, and then in the next step ID, these are the pl different places where it would connect. So P200, P300, P400, I'm looking over here. That's the IDs of the next steps. If I wanted this to connect to P600, I could go over here and type in P600 like this and hit refresh. Now notice too, we can add a, connect, a connector label. I'll type in hello there. Let's hit refresh, and you see it added a hello. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is that there are these classic, um, there are these classic shape types in here that are effectively independent and categorical, right? So I think all that that really allows you to do is color code them. So let's hit, let's change these two here, and you see, okay, so in this case it wasn't color coding them, but it actually turned them into a, um, into rounded uh, ovals. And you know, there's a whole bunch of different hierarchies you can create here. I'm going to do one other one just because I want to give you the ideas that I have. So I'll go to my add-ins this time. We're going to do the Visio data visualizer. And then in this case, I'm going to do an organizational chart. And so if you're doing a weighted hierarchy or a decision or a decision tree or a dendogram or something like that that would require a hierarchy, I know that this is based on flow charts. But once this shows up, you can see this would actually be easily editable to uh, represent visually these types of structures. It wouldn't be that hard to add things like weights under the captions because everything here is manipulatable. If I wanted to add my name in here as I'm just about to do, I could always call that a weight and add that as well. So here are the things I like about this. On the one hand, um, it's very fast, it's very cool. I love the table-driven structure. What I don't like about it is that it's just, it really is concerned about workflows. And then the other thing, and this is the feedback I gave Microsoft, which is that, um, Data visualization is a very specific topic and that this really is not a data visualizer. It's a Visio visual visualizer. But if you really like this product um, and you have the Office 365 subscription to Visio, it will integrate seamlessly and create a Visio uh, file for you. And then if you upgrade, which I haven't, and click edit, you see it says see plans and pricing. You can actually be able to go in and edit it. If you don't have that, fear not, it's, it is free and there's a free version and that would travel along with your Excel file and um, I think the idea is you would build it in Excel and then paste it into PowerPoint. So it makes you wonder why does this live in Excel if only for the uh, worksheet part of that. And I think that's kind of a fair critique of a lot of Microsoft products. But with all that being said, I would love for you to go check it out with Office 365. Go check out a link on how best to use this down 
in the comments section and just let me know what would you use this for would you use it to create the smart art um, that you know to replace smart art in your work or would you see actually creating it for other types of hierarchies until then keep on excelling thanks everyone see you next time